Hey guys, it's Lyra here, and in this video, I'll bring you guys another live commentary. And in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Iron Banner sidearm for season three. Uh, it's called the Allied Demand. I'm gonna go over the perks before I make a thumbnail. So first perk has got adaptive frame, quick dot SAS, short spec SAS, target SAS. I'm gonna be going for most range, so target SAS is the option. Uh, next up, it's got ricochet rounds, an extended mag, and you want to go for more range, so ricochet rounds is the clear option. And the next perk is auto loading holster, which I don't really like. This is basically cocoon, I think, from Destiny One, but uh, I didn't really like it. But it's still helpful, at least. I'd rather prefer something else, maybe like kill clip or something like that. But it's still good. Anyway, uh, let's see how this weapon looks. Honestly, this reminds me of the Iron Wreath from uh, Destiny One, and hopefully it's just as good because Iron Wreath was really good back in the day. Uh, back in the sidearm meta, everyone used it. That and the Wormwood. Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks. But anyway, uh, gonna be using Hunter. Yes, I turned to the dark side, I know, I'm sorry. Rocking the OP, Worm Husk, Blade Answer meta, and Graviton, yeah, that's about it. And using the shotgun from Trials, which is really good, might have to make its own a review on it. Probably gonna have to do that when Mayhem Clash comes. But then again, I'm gonna be making reviews on heavy weapons, uh, even without uh, Mayhem Clash, because it comes like once a month. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get a thumbnail right here. Man, the reload animation for this is really good. Uh, let's test out the recoil. It goes straight up. That is basically all vertical. Let me try to handle it. That's really stable. Like, really stable. Gotta test out the range while we're in game, but uh, can't test it out here. And here are the stats. I don't have any other sidearm on me, do I? Oh, I have the Rattler. If you can compare that. They got. They both got. Uh, Silencer, so for sidearm you're gonna want to have range everything else is just optional but range is the most important because you want to map people with sidearms but yeah this woman looks really smooth uh, it's simple um, it's technically not a reskin it might be like similar to something but definitely not a reskin without further ado let's go into a game i don't want to take too long but you know i just want to show off the weapon get a thumbnail etc we got to get more iron banner weapons the next one I have to get is the sniper, which, uh, if you know me, I'm the best sniper in the game. I got aimbot, I got hacks, etc. And on top of that, I'm using a broken controller. So that makes me even better automatically. If you learn to snipe with a broken controller, you consider yourself good at sniping. Other than that, you're trash, you're, you're irrelevant, you're obsolete. All jokes aside, uh... <laughs> and also, another thing to mention is that, sorry for the delay in videos, I've been pretty busy. I've been farming the game, trying to get new stuff, I don't have a lot of time. When it comes to gaming and making videos, I'm gonna try to make more videos this week. I'm gonna try up Friday games, Fortnite, H1Z1, and Destiny 2. So we'll see how that turns out. Anyway, this game's finally starting. Oh wait, HUD's still off. Yeah. Oh, oh, on the flank. Get the heal. Oh, another one. Oh, I'm dead. Oh my God. Okay, there. Yeah, to lands. I got just caught those guys all off guard, man. Just got the flank. They're spotting right in. Another hunter. Hunter versus hunter engagements are just so boring. It's just who can shade step and heal more, who can jump around more. My teammate did not help me shoot. Guy doing. I'll got him. 30 to the body, I think. I'll just do the head. 38? No, this is 29 to the body. Not about range. Go back here, because you're going to be playing here. Oh, spot trap. Goodbye. Goodbye, buddy. Sorry, dude. I want to know if this weapon can get hit markers from far away and what the damage fall off is. Okay, so 23 from there. So it's not that big of a damage fall off as I was expecting. I can't. What the? How did I not hit him with the sidearm? Oh, it dodges me like, come on, kill him. Team, team, guys. Who's, there's guys around here. Just push. Like, it's 3v2. I'm, I literally have to carry them so they can get the kill. Oh, no, he mercy them. I wanted, damn it, I, I carry too much. Rolling, 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 rolling. And the rest of these guys do not know how to push up with the team. And they just bait. This whole game's about baiting. Like, who can bait their teammates better? Who can bait the enemy better? And that's about it, just backpedaling. That's why this game is not as good as it should be. This woman's still really good. I'm not sure if it can compete with anti OD because I don't think any of them are using it. But uh, let's see if it can compete with SMGs because I don't really know the range for sidearms. Especially with SMGs like the anti OD, you're gonna have 
trouble outgunning them. I don't really know what sidearms are best at for the range. Maybe they can outgun SMGs from a little farther. In my opinion, the SMGs and sidearms and hand cannons are built like the same kind of range. Hand cannons having a lot of range fall off so they can't hit from that far. The SMGs like anti OB can hit from that far and they can be really close. That's why it makes them really good. I really don't know about sidearms because I really use them. This might be one of the highest range sidearms in the game but I have no idea. I know this sidearm is really good so other than uh, Last Hope, uh, I'm pretty sure Last Hope has a higher time to kill than this but this one's still good. Last Hope in my opinion is kind of overrated. Wait, Ghost Scan? What's a Ghost Scan? Where'd you get this from? I've scanned like everything in the game. I want to find this. You can find this where- oh, that's convenient. <laughs> Thanks for letting me know how to get it. Hidden chest on Nessus. All right, well, looks like I'm gonna be doing that. I'm not hoping for anything in Destiny. Oh god, that's a- yeah, let's- let's- let's get off- let's get off topic. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they just went from up close. Yeah, this is bad. Kill him. Here we go. Oh, I just outgunned him. So this weapon is better than <laughs> Last Hope. See? You're dead, buddy. Sorry. Firm husk. Oh, go back! Okay, never mind. I just outgunned him easily. <laughs> Get him one shot. Thing's broken. Just... He's lagging. He's lagging. I'm gonna die. I'm scared. Is he dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. You can't run. Oh, but he can use a super. <laughs> See, again, I just got baited again. The rest of that game was kind of boring. So i uh, probably going to cut it out. But this time I'm still doing really good. Just uh, the game right now and the matchmaking. This weapon's fun to use. It's just the way the meta is and the play styles. Not many people are pushing up, so I have to push to them. And even like even with that, I'm still doing good with this weapon. Time to use the OP abilities of Hunter. And with... Oh, finally, but Bannerfall. It's the second time I'm getting this map. Like, finally. The kill. Oh my god, that was really good. I'm just killing everyone. Technically, that's my kill. I don't care what anyone says. Oh my god, I couldn't get back in time. I'm trying to shade step, but that's what I hate about these lanes. Like, once you get up there and you're trying to dip, it's so hard for you. Because by the time you get out, you're already dead. I'm gonna back up. Unless I get one shot by a thunder strike. What was that? He just milling me through, like, somehow milling me. I don't know how he did. Reload. Okay, he died. Okay, next team. Actually helpful. Get your shots. Thank you. I'm missing a lot of my shots. You're dead. Team. Shadow Ninja, you're on my hit list. You literally just pushed me into that. When a teammate pushes you to die, I just, just feel so bad. Oh my god, he's running. Get the heal and reload. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my team? Am I playing play objective? Okay, clearly not. They had three of zones for a second. Oh. Oh my god, of course the whole team. I'll gun him. Oh my god, there's always two people fighting me. Come on, give me give me a 1v1. I 1v1 anyone in this lobby. I almost died there. I'm not getting- how fast is this fire? Okay, wait, I don't want to waste ammo. Right under me, I mean above me. Oh, that's an enemy? That's you get, buddy. I want to make sure I can at least kill him. See, now I'm on top. See, that's what a carrier does. They, they're always the best on their team. It's all because of this weapon. I'm trash at this game, guys. Low key. What am I saying? High key. I am trash at this game. Wow, what a scrub. He literally just played like that. Oh. Oh my god, I actually killed him. Alright, well, we lost. That was one of the big issues with Bannerfall back in SD1. People were just camping in the back. That's the video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Final opinion of this weapon is that it's really good. It's a beast. Deadly weapon. Probably underrated because I don't think a lot of people are going to be using this. Especially after this week because it's Iron Banner. 
They're so probably gonna test it out only. I uh, just gotta know how to use them close range. Full charge weapon, of course. Using its intended ranges. Start off with something for range. Maybe a ground on land or sky rifle. But other than that, that's the video, guys. Oh, and oh yeah, I forgot. And I for and also make sure you're a hunter with a warm husk crown and a blade answer, because <laughs> everyone's using that these days. Uh, let me know how I can improve my videos. Uh, and let me know any weapons that I could review next. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I catch you guys next time. Peace.